Hello everyone, today I'm inviting you to crochet with me this fantastic mitten that can be used for your spa and bath procedures. Super easy to make, we will just use single crochet stitch and then make a hole for your thumb and that's it. It will take you really just 30 minutes to make it. It will be very good for your skin because jute yarn is very good for your skin for the peeling effect it's also good if you have cell lid or other it gives you massage effects because it's a very natural yarn I saw the mitten uh, in the supermarket and I thought that I can actually make my own version and then we can use the hook uh, loop to hang it in the bathroom to dry so you can also use cotton yarn in case you don't want to use the jute yarn cotton is also very good for your skin so this is a very easy pattern the only thing you must put it on and see if the foundation chain is big enough for your hand to actually get in and then your thumb this one is slightly smaller for me because i had not enough jute yarn at that time so i finished it shorter but the length depends on you, you can make it longer or shorter, also here. So it's super easy to make, it can suit one hand or another hand, it depends how you make the hole. So uh, now let's get started. For this video tutorial I'm using crochet hook 6mm, uh, I guess if you can see and a uh, jute yarn that I think is uh, 1.5 millimeter the diameter but um, I use two threads together so I have six millimeter crochet hook you can use any size hook and any yarn the only one measurement is that the foundation chain you must try on your hand if it's enough and that's all you can even use three millimeter hook so let's make a foundation chain. So make a slip knot. Make a slip knot as you are used to. And just pull the yarn. The rustic view of this yarn uh, make the stitches a bit, um, let's say like, you see here it's okay it even gives some charm to the pattern so don't worry just crochet so I never count how many chains I really just chain and try on my rest and then we will join it into a circle So it looks like that, continue and then you can, after you try around your rest, you can stop. So I measure around my wrist and it's the right size and I tell you how many centimeters I crochet. So I have here 25 centimeters and it's okay because I like when it's a loose fit so it doesn't have to fit really tightly so if you want you can make it shorter or longer so right now we are going to join it into a circle so find the very first slip knot make sure it's not twist and now insert your hook into the one and make a slip stitch And now you are going to chain one and make a single crochet into each stitch. One single crochet into each stitch. One. Two. Three. 
So just continue until you arrive here and I show you how to switch to the next row. So I have finished my first row. Now I have tried and it really fits me. If after you try now you feel that you want bigger or smaller, you can still redo because it's just the beginning. But for the mitten that I will use for washing, I think even if it's slightly bigger, it's pretty good. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain that we made at the beginning of this row and finish this row with a slip stitch. So now we are going to crochet by turning our work on the wrong side. So first chain one, then turn your work and make one single crochet in each stitch. So starting from the second stitch, you make one single crochet. And continue with one single crochet until the end of this row. So I have crocheted 10 rows and I will tell you in centimeters. I have almost like, so it's here, like eight centimeters. It could be uh, a bit longer if you want that it goes like this, more here, this part, or you can keep something like that. By the way, using the same pattern, you can make normal mittens, and the only difference is that maybe you want them a bit tighter to your hand here and a bit longer here. So you can make the normal mittens. It's, this pattern is pretty well for that. So now uh, we are going to start the next row with chain one. So chain one, turn your work. Now we are going to make one, two, single crochet and then chain three, one, two, three. Then we are going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet into the fourth one. So now you have the hole for your uh, thumb. You can make it bigger or smaller. If you want smaller, just chain two. If you want bigger, you can chain four and skip four or two stitches accordingly. And now just continue with one single crochet until the end of this row. And then I show you how to crochet under the chain. So I already slip stitch and I finished that row. Now as usual I will crochet one single crochet into each stitch until I reach the, the one where we have the chain. So let me find here. And here I will crochet under the chain. So after you arrive to this place, you must just insert your hook inside into the hole and make three single crochet. One, two, and oh my god, yeah, three. So now uh, you continue as before with one single crochet. As you see, this pattern is super easy. It's even for total beginners, I guess you can figure out how to make it. So you continue like that until you arrive that this one covers your little finger. So until here, you crochet back and forth. Here you will have the hole. Then you continue with three single crochet on here and it will be just like that. So when you will uh, arrive to the part where you have your little finger covered with the yarn, you, we will continue with decrease and then sew it. So 
just go on and we meet when you cover here so I have crochet and it covers my little finger so that's enough I will start the decrease row to start the decrease row you can um, put it into half and on the side of the mitten we will make decrease you can put the marker in case you want to know where exactly to make a decrease Ap approximately on the sides you don't have to be too precise it's just okay so right now I will show you how to make decrease so chain one turn your work and if I dress it, now I'm approximately like after three stitches I will make a decrease. So I will make one single crochet, two, and already the third and now decrease so insert into one pull the loop into the second one pull the loop three loops and pull through all three and now continue until you reach the other side so just continue with single crochet and decrease so slowly slowly we will make decreases you can actually make customizable decrease sorry for my son screaming um, if you have like too much space here you can make less decrease if you have short finger you can make more like more sharp and like two degrees per row so it's just you can regulate this pattern is very simple so very easy and now I'm going to make another decrease so I show you again one two three loops and put all together and continue so when we start the next row you can make two decrease on the side so just continue until the slip stitch and the next row make two decrease and then if you still feel that you need a little bit more you can make another row of two decrease and then another row of uh, one single crochet and one increase decrease so let me finish this row and i show you how to make the row with two decrease so i have finished this row and now i will crochet until i have the decrease of the previous row have to make three single crochet now here I had decrease so I make another decrease here and make the decrease into the next two stitches then I will crochet until another decrease of the previous row Mostly I give detailed instructions to the one who are new to crochet. If you already know how to crochet, I think maybe it's too much detailed tutorial, but all have different levels. I know some of my viewers are complete beginners, so try to that everyone can crochet this one because it's super easy and super cute 
So one and insert into the next two stitches. Actually, I'm making this tutorial, but I wrote a post if you want Christmas tree or the meat for spa and bath and the majority asking Christmas tree, but I already started to make this one because actually I thought you are uh, bored with my Christmas projects because I published so many. So I bomb you so much with Christmas projects that I thought it's time to switch to something else. And still the people commenting that they want more Christmas trees. And I'm thinking that I must maybe record another tutorial of Christmas tree. Which is crazy, I thought it's already finished the um, decorating <laughs> part that all the of you got enough of these ornaments. But apparently it's not true. So let's start another row. Here it all depends. If you feel that after trying that you want it longer, you can continue with like less decreases. If you already feel that it's big enough, you can uh, make even sharp decrease. So what I feel is that I will start a row where I have one single crochet and one decrease so it's just alternation of one single crochet and one decrease and continue and uh, until you have practically few stitches that we will just sew them together so I'm practically done you can see that I have just few stitches left I just alternate one single crochet one decrease and actually it got the right shape so what I will have to do now is to leave a bit longer tail cut and just pick up the stitches, sew them on the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. So just cut the yarn. You can still do that with the hook, but I prefer to put it on the other side and use the tapestry needle. So, I'm just showing you my way. You still can finish with the hook by picking up all the stitches. But I feel it's faster like that. Just pick up. As you can see, it's very super easy. Today I already crocheted two of them. And I'm going to make many more because it's super healthy to use jute yarn for um, peeling your skin. So I think during Christmas season it could be a nice gift. have some holes you can use the time now to make them smaller because the decrease can create some holes so you can put the yarn in between so I got some holes here I can actually make them smaller And like that you also weave the end, so it's a good thing. And I think you understood the main idea, just go around there, hiding the stitches. 
And as you can see, our meeting is done. So that's how cute it is. Where is our hole? And that's how simple it is to make something so practical. So as I have finished to crochet these super cute mittens for washing, you you can actually make them with the normal yarn and they will be very warm and you can make them longer to use it during cold season and then just have with the thumb or just add the thumb, you know, pick up these uh, stitches and crochet. And if you need a tutorial, you can always write in the comments below and I will make a separate tutorial how to make these mittens for cold season. And if you want to have a honey loop, actually what I did, I just pick up one of the stitch and pull it. You see, if you pull this loop, it goes back. But if you pull it, you can use it as a honey loop so you don't have to attach it. I think it's a good life hack. <laughs> You can add something like that to make them cute. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Tell me more if you like some quick practical projects and I will try to find more projects for you. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.